Hey fellow reefers, welcome back to our Worldwide Corals channel. I'm Alex Murphy, and we're gonna be diving into how to acclimate, dip, and handle your corals, as well as how to acclimate your new invertebrates. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned Aquarius, these steps will be vital to ensure the health, vitality, and success of your corals. Let's get started. First, let's run through a quick guide for acclimating your new corals. A few items you're gonna need to do this successfully are a pair of bone cutters, a turkey baster, some reef safe epoxy, and some reef safe glue. When you receive your coral shipment, the first thing you wanna do is float each coral bag in the tank or sump for 15 to 20 minutes for temperature acclimation. You wanna cut open the bags of new corals and slowly and gently place them into your container. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take your turkey baster and gently blow off any detritus or undesirable hitchhikers. You're gonna to wanna to take those corals and place them at the bottom of your aquarium, preferably on a frag rack, until they adjust to your new light. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of epoxy and knead it until it is uniform in color. With one hand, grab your frag, put a small dab of glue underneath it, the ball of epoxy on top of that glue, and one more dab of glue on top of that ball of epoxy. Take your frag and slowly and gently place it on your live rock, pushing down firmly, making sure that the coral is adhered. When adding new corals to your tank, you must keep in mind the flow and the amount of light that the coral is receiving. Some corals like more light, more flow, and others like less. Now that your corals are properly acclimated, let's talk about dipping your corals. This step is crucial, but can be tricky if not done correctly. One key point is timing. We don't recommend dipping your corals immediately after acclimation. Why? Because corals are already stressed from shipping. Dipping them right away can cause irreversible damage. Improper dipping is the number one cause of coral death. We recommend waiting 10 to 24 hours after adding your new corals to your reef before dipping them. You might be worried about parasites spreading during this time, but don't fret. The likelihood is very small as parasites, just like your corals, are adjusting to their new environment. When you're ready to dip, be precise with the amount of reagent you add. Don't guess. Adding too much won't kill parasites. It can actually harm your corals. Now let's talk about adding corals to your reef tank. Corals are resilient, but still require proper handling to thrive. Here at WWC, we take great care in isolating, quarantining, and dipping corals before selling them. However, it is still essential to inspect, dip, and quarantine your new arrivals. Setting up a quarantine system is the best alternative. A small, fully established quarantine system combined with a regimen of dipping and turkey basting over a three to four week period is almost a fail safe. If you need more details, check online resources or contact our support team. When handling SPS and LPS corals, never touch the live tissue. The pressure from your fingers and the oils can damage them. Always handle the coral by the frag plug or the rock underneath the live skeleton. For zoanthid and palithoa corals, extreme care is necessary. Wear gloves, safety glasses, and a dust mask to avoid palytoxin poisoning. Never rub your eyes, mouth, or nose during or after handling these animals. Please wash your hands thoroughly with soap once done. Now that we've covered 
introducing corals into your aquarium as well as dipping them, let's move on to acclimating inverts. When it comes to acclimating inverts, the best method is to use drip acclimation. This is a simple process in which you introduce your aquarium water to the water that came in bags with your inverts. First, when you receive your bags of inverts, you want to cut them open and put them into an acclimation bin with the water that they came with. The second step is to start your drip acclimation, introducing the aquarium water into the container with the inverts. During the drip acclimation process, you wanna make sure that the water is slowly dripping into the container with the inverts. Be mindful that you must keep an eye on the water level inside of your acclimating bin so that it does not overflow. Once the acclimation has gone on for about 45 minutes to an hour or so, you wanna check the salinity inside your acclimating bin, then check the salinity in your display aquarium, making sure they're more or less the same before putting them into your aquarium. You're then gonna to want to dispose of the water that was in your acclimating bin. Do not introduce it back into your aquarium. And there you have it. By following these steps, you'll ensure that your new corals thrive in their new home. Keep in mind that at the end of the day, this is your hobby and your aquarium. We do suggest that you take every possible precaution to ensure that you do not introduce pests into your display tank. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more coral care tips from Worldwide Corals. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.